Hello, uh, welcome to my Minecraft tutorial. Uh, this is going to be a pretty quick one, uh, just with the hex casting mod um, on a numbering system because numbers are pretty important for a lot of hex casting spells, whether it be for needing vectors or needing numbers it's themselves. But um, you could use this for a lot of things like uh, getting specific coordinates. Um, other useful things. That's kind of the main one that I can think of. Uh, this isn't going to be going into like any addition, subtraction type stuff. Just the basics of this uh, symbol here, the the number symbol. So as you saw, it's just a diamond starting from the side, and then you go through the middle, and that's going to be a zero. So the numbering system is a little bit different in this mod as it's it's strange so there's a few so once you get this you start at zero and then whatever you do after this point is what modifies the number so um, the easiest way to modify it is just add one each straight line you make out of it will be adding one to the number so one line is uh, one you know, two lines is two but if you need numbers that are very large uh, that's not the best option like that was a that's pretty much the entire screen and it only goes up to 16 without a scrying lens which I'll get because I don't need anything else in my offhand. Um, so if you want to increment larger, you can go uh, this way to get five per thing, or you could go that way and get ten per thing. Now, this is where things get a little bit difficult because let's say I want 15 right so you would think it's 10 and then 5 but this is gonna give what this is 20 I think yeah uh, that happened for a few reasons the first I'll get into is direction is extremely important because once you do this it's gonna take the direction it basically tilts your numbers so now going this way is straight so if I want another 10 after that or if I want another 5 after that it wouldn't be going the direction of the original 5 it would be going this way which because this is 1 this is 10 and this is 5 so this would be 15. Now the, the way I got 20 is because obviously to get uh, 10, or yeah, to get 20 it would be like that. But that's not what I did. I did that and got 20. That's because there's multiplication and division in the numbering system. So let's just get 2 here. So if you go like up and back that's going to multiply our number by 2. So this is 2. Multiply it by 2 is going to be 4. And uh, we'll get 2 again as a base. And then if we go down and back, it's going to give dividing it by 2. So this will be 1. Um, and decimals are in here. So uh, 1 divided by 2 is going to give 0.5. And yeah, I can go there. So this can give 0.25, I think. So that, that's also where things get complicated, is you need to worry about physical space. Because let's say I wanted 0.125. Uh, 1 divided by 2 divided by 2 divided by 2. I guess that works. This is a 0.12. No, I just I did that wrong, actually. So divide by 2 divide by 2. This I would need to go here again to divide by 2, but obviously you can't overlap. So there's a bit of a physical space issue 
with this um, you can still get a really large amount of numbers doing this like let's say I wanted 123 right so we're gonna do 10 multiply by 2 and then 10 or no yeah so we're at 20 now and then uh, 25 multiply by 2 is 50 now we're at a problem here so obviously that's not the way we want to do it this way so I think 20 25 50 and then 100 so what did I, I didn't even say I was gonna do 100 did I, I just said like 123 or something well now that I got this part written down 123 so we want another 10 and we can't multiply it by 2 anymore so um, we'll just add a 5 and a 5 and then 1, 2, 3 I think this should be 123 yeah so there's a lot of different ways to write the different numbers just because of the multiplication and division like if you multiply and divide in different spots you will write the number completely differently like I could go 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 what is that so 10 20 30 40 50 multiply it by 2 10 10 1 2 3 I think this is 123 also yeah these two completely different symbols give fully different numbers and again obviously they take up a lot of space so this isn't uh, useful if you're doing like big spells but if we're to get a what's it called slate? Yeah, if you get a if you get a blank slate and you want to write down a number, it's good for that. Uh, so for spell circles and stuff, let's say I want like I'll go with simple numbers because it's easy. I want uh, 25. I think that's 25, and then write it to the glyph. And now there's 25 on a slate not glyph sorry I think that's 25 let me double check yeah that's 25 so that's good for coordinates if you're uh, if you saw in my greater teleport spell for I had specific coordinates on slates not slates they're called glyphs so um, just keep that in mind obviously not gonna be super useful for early game I don't think I mean it's nice for uh, like basic numbers like if you're doing a launch spell or like a blink spell right you do um, yourself and then a number like I wanna oops, I wanna blink five blocks forward so oops sorry for the coughing in the background um yeah so it's nice for like some basic spells like that if you don't mind writing it out uh, I'm sure you could get quick with it. Let's see how. Oh, oh. Okay, that's not quick. It's here. Boom! Blink five blocks forward. Yeah. So it's nice if you're doing small numbers, but the bigger, more uh, complicated numbers are difficult. One thing I forgot. Um, so this is only positive numbers. Uh, that's 424, I guess. But if you want negative numbers, uh, you just go the opposite way. Now it's the exact same rules, but with negative numbers instead of positive numbers. So 1, 5, 10, uh, multiply by 2, divide by 2. But it just adds a negative in front, basically. And then this, oh my goodness, that was so bad. 
Um, this isn't multiplying it by negative 2, it's just multiplying it by positive 2, and this isn't uh, dividing by negative 2, it's just positive, so you don't have to worry about like making sure you get the right amount of uh, multiplications and divisions to keep it negative, it'll just always be negative. I guess that's more space efficient way to write 4 as opposed to this too. Um, yeah, so make sure you draw it in the right direction for the numbers. Um, negative is clockwise, positive is counterclockwise. Um, that's it for the numbers. Uh, it kind of takes a little bit to get used to, and it kind of you kind of got to think about it. Weird, but it is really useful if you can figure it out. Uh, that's it for this one. Bye bye.